falling into one. And we had one experience coming back. And on the way back, we stopped in North Dakota at a gas station. We spent like hundreds of dollars on gas. And um, I told him, if you have any problems or feel any way, or have you feel that you've been mistreated or, or misconceived in some way, you tell me. So I waited in demand because I wanted them to learn because this was a learning experience for them. And so they came back and they said, they're looking at us real funny in there. They're telling us to stand by the door and go in one by one while everybody else is going in as a group or family. I said, what? And they told us that we can't use the restroom unless that one goes, one comes out, and whatnot. And I thought, hmm, okay, what else? Well, we, we wanted to walk around, but they were looking at us like we were going to steal stuff. I said, oh my goodness. I said, okay, well, let's go then. So I went in, and I, I brought them in with me. I said, we're customers. And they didn't say anything. And it was at a grocery, it was at a gas station where they, where they sold like, hamburgers, hot dogs, fries, and whatnot. So I said to the group, order whatever you want up there. So we ordered about $45 worth of food. And then I said, oh, wait, well, you guys can go in the van. I said, go ahead. Oh, I need to use the restroom, plus I need to go get my wallet, and I'll be back. I'll be back in time to pay for it. Said, so did what I did, came back, brought my bag into the store, and I looked around. I said, um, I don't see any signs in here. They said, what kind of signs? A sign that tells me that I have to pay for what I ordered, I said. And they just looked at me like, and I said, you know what, have a nice day. We're going to take our business somewhere else where people are going to smile and welcome us. I said, and I walked out. And the kids just like, oh my god, did you really, really do that? Are they going to call us? Are they going to call the cops on us? I said, let them. What do we feel? Well, we're not guilty of anything. We didn't steal anything. I said, we don't have no binding contract with them. But that was one of the lessons that they learned is that they, they learned how to stand up and speak up for themselves and be proud of who they are as Native Americans. So that was one of the lessons that we had learned there. But when we got there, it was so exciting because as soon as we got there, there was like, there was like a a lot of people, a lot of teepees. It was so exciting. We drove down the hill, going into and there was just teepees everywhere. We saw they were travel flags and they were like, where's our flag? Where's our flag? As soon as they saw it, we're off of the horn, yelling and screaming and waving. And then, then they, everybody was hustling. There, there were horses there, cars, trucks just going down this way. They're like, oh, I don't know where they're going, but let's follow them. So we drove along with them. I mean, drove along where they were going. We followed them and went down to the riverbed. And there was a bunch of mud and whatnot. We ended up get, getting stuck in the mud, but we didn't care. We were just all gone home. We had, we had our open, protect old flat signs and safe old flat signs. We just took off down there. I had my, my traditional clothes on, my feathers and everything. I was ready to pray. And then we got there, and one of the people there had recognized me. And he said, we need a prayer for the water. We need a prayer. We need a prayer done right now. So gave me that, um, they, they had bull horns, so they gave that to me, and I went down to the river, and those uh, officers were standing up on top of the hill, looking down at us, and uh, they, I mean, they, were, they had their guns, their weapons, and they were, the kids were scared. Be careful, be careful, they told me. I said, well, you guys can stay there if you want to, you can walk down, and they're not going to do anything to me. I said, they're not going to do anything to any of us. And so I walked down, so then some of the group followed me, we all stood there, and I, I prayed my glass of water and they, all, they just kind of backed off and they just kind of put their weapons down because they knew that we were there in prayer. And so, but anyway, but the kids learned that the best weapon that you have as a Native American is the power of prayer. When you pray in your language or however way it is that you pray, we are connected directly to our Creator. Our Creator is the one that gave us life, Mother Earth. What a shell woman in our Apache way. She's like our Mother Earth to us. And she created a way for us. We have our ceremonies. We have the coming of age ceremonies where the women, we live in a matrimonial society within our culture, and the women are the leaders. The women are the ones that are the matriarchs of the house. They're the ones that teach. They're the ones that 
Just have the patience, have the love, the understanding, the commitment to be able to hold families together. And this is what's happening at Hope Flat. We're strengthening the message to our youth. And I'm so proud to see our youth here. Thank you. Uh... 
Thank you. 